as transistors helped give our radios a makeover in the 60s. They did the same for that other electronic necessity, the telephone. Until 1964, all home telephones featured a rotary pulse dial, where the series of pulses corresponded to each of the digits on the phone. Consumers at the 1964 New York World's Fair got a sneak preview of things to come as touchtone phones were put to the test. Hi, this is the Bell Systems' new touchtone dialing. With this indicator, you see how many seconds you save the new way. Let's try it. Okay, I'll race you. Ready? Go. They were an instant hit and literally set the tone for the future of telephone dialing. I beat you. Once you tried the touchtone phone, you just did not want to go back to the rotary phone because it was so darn slow. It was just, you had to turn it and then you had to wait. If you had to do a zero, forget about it. It just took forever. Your finger and your patience both got some relief. If you look at this phone, you can actually see how simple it is. When you push a button, you're generating like a contact between two pieces of metal here. And that contact is hooking to a tone producer. And there's four tone producers down this line, and there's three across here. When you push the button, two separate tones are combined, and that's what's sent down the line. The reason they wanted to use two tones was that they didn't want your normal voice or any whistles in the background or something to get picked up and interpreted by the system. In the 40 plus years since its inception, the touchtone phone has saved each of us an average of over 400 hours of dialing. 